Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com here. The new CompTIA A+. I've um, put this off a little while because I've been writing a few of the books, but I've just finished up uh, getting the updates done for the website. Um, it's a mess. I, In my personal opinion, it's a mess, and I'm going to explain why. But more importantly, I'm going to explain what you can do about it because I still think it's a valuable certification. And I think what CompTIA have made... Um, what have they done wrong you can turn to your advantage and um, I'll show you how firstly if you haven't heard about me or of me for any reason uh, I'm sure you haven't because I'm not really that famous I've written quite a few books that are available on amazon.com 101 labs and I'm currently working on one for the A plus by the way we've got network plus CCNA CCMP Cisco um, the latest one oh, just came in the post a couple of days ago it's launched now that's for Linux I used to work for Cisco TAC been teaching and consulting in IT since 2002 and I've written a few books I started knowing nothing I actually started with the A plus is my first certification so I do know quite a lot about it um, well, I was an early adopter my websites which I'll mention later howtonetwork.com 101labs.net and in60days.com that's just for CCNA so um, please subscribe and hit the bell button uh, hit the bell sorry and uh, you'll get more videos so let's get into it the Comte A plus is updated every three years obviously that's a good idea because um, software changes I think actually when it first came out, it was Windows 3.1 or was it 3.11 or something, and you had to know some DOS, auto exec bat, and uh, that kind of stuff. If you know what that is, then it means you're pretty old. So the current exams are: uh, you take two exams. You basically take the uh, exam number 220 1001 and 220 1002. Most people, unlike a lot of certifications, will study both at the same time because of the amount of crossover. So you study both and then say on the Monday you take the 1001 and on the Wednesday the um, 1002. So here's a little history lesson and this is where Cisco went wrong, Cisco Systems, and they've corrected. So um, 2000, you had to know to pass the CCNA um, you have to know basic writing and switching and bear in mind here the CCNA the A stands for associate Okay, and the reason why I'm saying this is because the A plus for example is a general and kind of entry-level technician or low-level technician and this is where CompTIA have gone wrong also 2016 the CCNA has undergone since I've been teaching so 2000 2003 Six, um, nine, two thousand and twelve, two thousand and fifteen, and then the latest one. At the very least, then one, two, three, four, five, six, six updates, maybe more. I can't remember when it came out. And what happened was it got it started off down here as levels of difficulty and went up, 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 up to around here. And basically, it became what what used to be the old CCMP, the Cisco Professional level, which was a pretty high level engineer and still is. And the reason is they added more and 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 more, more stuff uh, until it got to the point where it was taking uh, so much time and effort. And the books, my books were actually over a thousand pages and I had to come up with separate books showing you how to do all the labs. And before you even did the CCNA, you really needed to pass the Network Plus. So it got silly. So what they did is they corrected and they've gone back to treating the Cisco CCNA as an entry level exam. So back to basics, know some routing and um, they're actually including a fair bit of network um, automation, which I won't, cover, I won't go into. So it's actually gone back down to around sort of this level. And then what you can do is branch off into the more difficult subjects. Let's go back to CompTIA. The A plus when I first did it in 2000, you had to support um, be able to support a PC, keyboard, the monitor, um, mouse. 
So your basic peripherals that any small business would be using. I think it was Windows 98 that you'd um, need to know about, but only in a general level. So you could basically um, install uh, and uh, troubleshoot the operating system. So you had to know obviously what's going on inside the computer. So your hard drive, uh, RAM, anything that's inside the case and some small office devices such as printers. So this sounds reasonable and this is the stuff you'd be doing on a help desk or if you were doing support for a small office or say you're self-employed and you wanted to help small businesses and I recommend everyone does that when they pass the A+. Oh my god, right. Sit down and brace yourself. Um, CompTIA, and this isn't all of it, this is just some, this is all I could fit on one screen. Support, install, uh, troubleshoot Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Linux command line and the uh, GUI, the Mac operating system, the Windows command line, the control panel for Windows, all of the Windows uh, releases, understand uh, Active Directory, wireless security, uh, Windows security, Mobile device, uh, software, uh, installation, upgrade, security. Wireless LAN configuration, support and security. Uh, malware and other Trojans, viruses. Change management and a little bit of project and process management and documentation. Software licensing. Shell scripting, oh my god. Uh, remote access, um, there's about six or seven categories under that, not just for uh, Windows, but also the software that you can buy licenses for. Supporting um, smart devices, including watches and the um, software on there. Supporting Bluetooth and troubleshooting, TCP IP, all the protocols and common services, port numbers. Configuring, installing, supporting, troubleshooting, firewalls. Web server, also email server, file server, etc. I just had space for one icon. DHCP, DNS, NAT, and other IP services. Network cabling, I've just put a fiber there, but you need to know all the legacy and, and current cabling types. And all the different RAM types that go inside laptops and routers, all the motherboard, motherboard types, troubleshooting, installing, and software. Um, Power supply units, um, network and non-network printers, our virtualization, cloud computing, all the different types of cloud computing available, troubleshooting, all of the things I've mentioned, uh, and cable crim crimpers. I'm going to stop there because there's actually even more and I've kind of had enough. So you, all of a sudden, you need to know all of this stuff. I say all of a sudden, they've just, in the latest iteration, it's gone crazy and they've gone the way Cisco have gone. So if they're under the impression that your help desk, your general um, PC peripheral, su peripheral support person in a um, office would have to know all this, it's just crazy. So you've gone from basically needing to know a good amount about general uh, PC and software to knowing a lot about a lot of stuff, not even at a basic level. So what we're going to do about it, I still really rate the A plus certification. So we need to come up with a plan. And um, this is this is what I strongly suggest you do. Don't fall into the trap of um, doing what uh, comments here are, are going to get you to do. You're still going to do the A plus if you want to do um, basic uh, device support. You can earn a really good money if you're free on weekends and evening supporting homes who want to install um, wireless routers, they've got malware, they need um, upgrades of RAM, all this kind of stuff. You could charge good money like a hundred odd dollars an hour. For businesses it's even more plus a call out fee and I've done it. I just don't like doing it anymore, I don't have the time. So what I'm going to say is you start studying for the A+, but you also include in your study the Microsoft MTA Security Fundamentals because it's in the syllabus for the A plus now, the same stuff. You study Windows Operating System Fundamentals and this covers at the moment Windows 10 which you download a free trial and put it on a virtual machine on your home computer. 
you study the CompTIA Cloud Essentials, which has got a whole bunch of um, same the same um, syllabus items in the CompTIA A+. It's crazy why they're doing that. Why they're doing it. You also study all or some of the foundation exam. This is the Linux Essentials. So this is the this is the baby Linux exam for complete beginners. And this is why we're doing it. The syllabus items for the MTA Security Plus, so MTA is from Microsoft, covers the uh, A Plus. The Cloud Essentials covers a good amount of the A Plus. The Windows MTA operates, Operating System Fundamentals covers a good amount of the A Plus. And then your Linux, again, covers a good amount. Because remember I said they're asking you about the Linux GUI, the graphical user interface, and the command line. And this also covers your scripting. Why they want you to know scripting for the A+, uh, it's just mad. What's going to happen here? If you do the A+, you've got one cert. If you study this, which is a two-hour course, a two-hour course, that's a two hour course. This probably more actually. I'm going to say that's around 10 plus hours. All right. But you're already do. You're already going to have to do around, I'd say, 60 hours for the A plus, maybe more. So you're coming out with five certifications, which is fantastic. You imagine the person that just does the A plus and nothing else, they're coming out with just one, albeit it's a good certification. You apply for a job and you go up against the person who's got one and you've got five, including Linux, two Microsoft and two CompTIA, you're going to be laughing. You're going to be well ahead of the queue. And the other thing I suggest you do is pass and then have a break. The A+, plus, if you do the A+, plus, you've already studied about 25% of the Network+. Plus. And if you want, you've already studied with the Microsoft Security Fundamentals. If you do that course, you've already studied probably 65 to 70% of the CompTIA A+. Plus. So you're basically um, well, well over halfway, two thirds of the way there. So you've got a whole bunch of extra certifications. So you could actually be coming out with seven certs in six with six months um, six months work. It could be less. You know, it just depends. Um, I'm going to say you're starting from knowing nothing uh, to having seven certs in six months, which is almost unheard of. Uh, our course it says there are 32 hours. It swelled to 30. Four maybe now with some extra stuff I've added but what I'm going to tell everyone on this course now on the introduction lecture is to study these other certifications rather than just pile them into the A+. Do we know what we're doing? Okay we've been teaching this a long time and all of our instructors including myself have got a lot of consulting experience so this is just one of our students who passed the A+, another did the A+, Security+, Plus, Security+, Plus, Network+, Plus. Security Plus, and Network Plus, and Network Plus, Network Plus. Okay, so we know what we're doing. This is just a tiny sample. I've actually, I've, I've lost count of how many students we've got through their exams. Not just CompTIA, but Cisco and the Microsoft. I should have actually put some for the um, the MTA because we've had a big um, push and we just had uh, a competition where a load more passed. The Microsoft exams that I mentioned earlier. So I'm basically saying we know what we're doing and we can get you through. So I hope that's uh, helped and it's of interest to you. All of the courses I've mentioned we teach and a whole bunch more. We've got about 25, 30 now. The Linux course, the baby one, the LPI should be going live in September um, 2019, which is um, actually this month that I'm recording this. So if you're watching this video later, it should be up. That's going to be... Um, theory plus a ton of hands-on labs using free to download software on your home computer so we show you how it's all done including scripting have a look at the website and then go to this special url um, howtonetwork.com forward slash youtube where you'll get th uh, access to all the courses uh, unlimited practice exams live cisco racks uh, support on the forum career training exam strategy support and um, it is exactly 
one dollar for your first 30 days and after that it's 20 dollars if you want to hang around so um, I hope that's helped anyway and give you some ideas um, so don't be discouraged it's actually good news it's worked out in your favor although CompTIA didn't do this on purpose but we're going to um, leverage it to our advantage so thanks for watching I'll see you on the next video